Brooklyn Independent Television. Brooklyn Review wishes everyone a prosperous year of the dragon. Gong Hei Fat Choi. Okay, let's do it. We're ringing in the new year, the year of the dragon. It's a time when families get together, the entire community coalesces right here in Sunset Park to celebrate what is a very important tradition and holiday for the growing community here in Brooklyn and throughout New York City. We're in the, uh, the heart of Sunset Park. Uh, many people calling it uh, Brooklyn Chinatown for the last many years. People love the Year of the Dragon. Dragon really symbolizes the Chinese culture, and people think that a dragon really brings in good luck and power and uh, all the fortunes that it could have. It's not a one-day event. It goes on for a couple of weeks before New Year's Day. It goes on for another couple of weeks after New Year's Day. So it goes on for quite a long time. It's a, it's a process of endurance. Dr. King holiday, but what many people don't realize, Dr. King's dream is only a sequel of other dreams. Chinese Americans built our railroad system where their children couldn't ride on the trains. And by having a community like the Chinese American community in Brooklyn, it adds the flavor of Brooklyn and it's a very important community. And when the Chinese community prosper, so too does Brooklyn prosper, so too does the city of New York. year this event gets bigger and bigger and bigger and that's why you see so many elected officials community board members civic activists coming out here and enjoying the day hello everybody look at this crowd it goes for blocks it's amazing Paul Mack you do a great job let's hear it for Paul Mack the head of the Brooklyn Chinese American Association this is the year of the dragon 1928, 1940, 1952, 1964, 1976, and anything after that, your babies. Today is so important because it gives you an opportunity to see some of our constituents. You're able to shake hands and interact, particularly the Chinese American community who are historically quiet and don't really get the governmental services they deserve. This is an opportunity to see a friendly face so when you see him in a time of need, they will say, hey, I remember him at our parade. I remember him at our event. I know this is someone that's approachable and that's the goal of today. This is a beautiful community and it's only going to continue to grow and it's not impacted by the overdevelopment that many parts of bedroom communities in Brooklyn have experienced. This is still maintained this small, quaint feeling. It's a very safe community and a great community to be a part of. Become a fan on Facebook, like Brooklyn Independent Television.